It's it's a thing that they're gonna go for at some point or another. Yeah. But I know Dan has a lot more prevalence for uh, not only nair combos but uh, back air combos. Are yeah, kind definitely. Of their uh, their bread and his, butter. His nair combos are really good. Yeah. His movement's also really good. I feel like that's a lot of where he shines, like movement and just getting those like super clean punishes. Nothing crazy, like flashy, but you know, all the fundamentals are there. Oh, gets the charge up B to get right back though. Is uh, yeah, the, hold on is so devastating once he gets that hit. Of course, that's the the problem lies in like where do you find your first hit? But mm -hmm. it, with a mixture of sweat spirits and how crazy the down air is, like it's you interesting because like Hodan has some funk hitboxes. That's it's kind of where he box? shines. Is that is that a technical term? Yeah, very. <laughs> Oh my god, the charge <laughs> fair is just so pushed. Yeah, so, there it is. Great parry, though. Yeah, pretty much all of his aerials have, like, really good hitboxes that oh, he yeah. can abuse. Ooh, wow. That there is going to be connecting, though. I guess the, the heavyweight kind of working against Hodon for a minute. Yeah, against most of the cast, if you land a sour fair and if uh, you have your double jump, um, have your double jump and on DI in, you can get that down mm -hmm. air, which is uh, pretty good. Pretty good out of 10. Yeah. Oh, trying to get a, a hit fall nair combo going. Had a ch uh, only a reset of neutral from that reversal though. Giga can't extend off of it any further. Here we go. Oh. Dan's getting Giga off stage. There it can get a little scary. Wow, a great high recovery from Giga. Just going way past and sh no alternating commitment from the recovery, and then able to find a reversal from. Early hit up strong into the charge up B. It's just such a menace. Like, if you think you can land on Hodon, you can't. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Good mix of recovery with the down B, though. Able to just continuously try to uh, mix in how to find Zetterburn's really powerful offense once he gets ignited. But, I mean, the problem it feels like that Hodon has agency when it comes to his buff while uh, Zetterburn really needs to find a good initial hit and then a proper starter. Right, they're like, does need to win neutral on some level to get the fire up. But working out right there, gonna be able to up strong. Yeah. But Dan's at 98, that's a little rough. Hodon's got a lot of ways to just kind of outright kill you at this percent. Charge fair, not quite one of them, but it is gonna set up for a scary situation just like that. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, the the trouble the trouble when it comes to that recovery route of which multiple uh, multiple times over Dan chose to go low, uh, charge fair would bully that low recovery. And in this instance, he covers the same thing, and the counterplay is there. But the immediate setup of like I'm gonna like I'm auto canceling, so just charge fair down tilt, mm -hmm. and there's only so much you can do. Right. Yeah. Because like you know even if you di out, I don't think Dan's really had resources, which is not something you can afford to waste yeah hence the counter pick here which makes a lot of sense you want to have access to these platforms to have uh, better utility for high recoveries with either the down b or the canceled one like we saw there just um, somehow getting right by uh getting right by giga it's kind of interesting because when i think of the stage for that i almost think more of his punish game than his recovery especially compared to like merchant it's fair because on merchant the side flats are really good for zetter if anything i almost feel like giga is going to get more use of that very top plot but right off the gate, it's not really mattering because Giga just kind of putting Dan's off stage and keeping him there. Out of edge guard the Spacey. Oh, Ooh, that was a good couch. Sour fair combos have been very beneficial for Dan. Like the reaction of like, hey, do I get a sweet spot up there here as Giga just, okay. Dabs. <laughs> Yes, you, uh, as you, you can see what uh, you were meaning, uh, Cyber, with the punish game. Able to use the platforms to avoid the berry and just find a back air off of it. Yeah, like Dan's favorite stage is uh, Frozen Fortress, which is like a, you know, big inverted tri-plot. Yeah. Um, and, you know, even on a stage like this, as long as you start from the corners, you can still combo him just like that. Oh, neither of them took the risk. Both of them prioritized recovery, but that parry into up strong while ignited. Not going to take the stock hood on, just way too heavy for that and missing the uh, sweet spot of uh, up air twice over. Yeah, but then Ooh. back hit of that up strong is going to be catching and sending the monkey off the screen. Yeah, got to have that extra kill power like so, just down to that ledge. And if you're going to low, if you're going to recover low, you have, it's a hitbox you have to deal with. Yeah, oh, just lots of little jab resets right here. Oh, but that wow, is he died. Gonna... Hill. Yeah, even Dan's kind of like, okay, 
Sure, I guess we're working with that one. That's a... Uh, hmm. Because usually that, like, at low percent like this, especially with uh, Hodan's really solid uh, uh, charge recovery, which he had charge online, but use the double jump. Oh. Uh -huh. That's hard, yeah. That's tough. That's interesting, because I know um, Hodan dies a little bit earlier, you know, later off the top, which means he dies earlier off the bottom compared yeah. to, like, Atlas. Um or to recovering that, having to use the charge in order to recover, getting it once again, but good parry on the platform. Able to get to the platform, just really have so much safety with it. Woo! Yeah, reverse up strong, 91% right out the gate. No kill, but it almost was. Yeah, choosing to use it all in order to, but being put into the dizzy state, but it does not matter. He's gonna see another fair, or just down tilts, fair first. Yeah, okay. Was a little bit too deep, but doesn't die for it. That was a nice little moonwalk from Giga. Oh, straight up side beam. Oh, the pain! The actual... <laughs> no, no, you like never see that come into play, but Giga hard reading that that would work one way or another. He's done that a couple times. Uh, he did it a couple times in game two where he would uh, chase with just a held jab mm. a couple uh, during a tech chase. That time it's just a sim it's an evolution of that very prospect. You've got to yeah. see some change up coming out from Dan or else Giga will just keep punishing harder and harder. Mm, no, he needed to shine there. And yeah, just racking up the damage even more. This might be able to be, uh, get up to 100% extra credit for Giga. And there we are, it, just passing 196 after the hit. That fourth strong is so devastating. Yeah, it, and it like the side switch just can really catch you off guard because yeah. the animation is really ambiguous at the start. Yeah, he rears back, but then it's all active once he starts going forward. Right. Oh, up tilts and the the shout to the use of up air coming out from Giga. It's just such a huge juggling tool, that, and it's it's given Dan fits. Ask it down, ask it down special in order to get out of there, but. It just, whether it be on the left side or right side, Tech. Mm, wow. I'm kind of surprised. So, okay, we're thinking it this time. Yeah, we're going to actually Galaxy 2. No hope there. But that's... Man, I mean, it just seems like... I always describe Hodon as, like, eternal coin flips, <laughs> which is maybe not truly... Uh, maybe a little disingenuous, but it holds true in some regard. Mm -hmm. But it feels like that game was when, oh... You landed on heads three times in a row. You stock is gone. It almost makes you wonder if the uh, the coins waited a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> okay, we're getting the the charge shine. And again, good start. Dan's had a really good start last game, but then Giga just kind of came in in full force, and so we're gonna have to see if something like that happens this time around. Yeah, almost makes you want to see Dan like cool it out, uh, cool it off a little bit. As oh, that's a wave on top line. And you died down strong, doing work. Yeah, that was really hard to DI. Makes kind of makes sense that he died even without the galaxy. Okay. Going but, to need something crazy here from Giga until the extra credit starts tuning up. Well, really interesting strings, like because Giga is really the only Hodan playing the character like top level tournament play. It's always interesting to see what kind of combo rates he's going for, because they are really interesting compared to some of the other characters in this game. What? What? Huh? I so he, Did it trade? It was, um, it looked like it was a reverse up B that's because it was so close to the top anyway, it's, uh, it hit DI in and as well as startup, but either uh, way, getting a more classic kill off the top with just up air wavelength <laughs> up air. Yeah. Back air misses the part of dash deck that you want to to get the Gatling, but it's still moving pretty well. Ooh, no. Sweet spot, fair. <laughs> that's tough. Another that's one. That's tough. Yeah, you really can't live that very easily. Uh, that's that's <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what do you do? If you, you hold in, you get fair. You hold out, you just die. So that's the that's kind of the answer that Dan really needed in a in a game state like this because you just got washed on your uh, on your opponent's first counter pick you needed that those uh tri plats to work out well for you and they have twice over but as we go to ethereal gates the blast zones are going to be extremely important in order to make sure that you're not only surviving uh, off the top from both sides but also off the sides from uh from charge fair it's um, understandable why giga would want to use his weight here yeah definitely Ooh. Not even charge fair, but like just, I guess sweet spot fair is basically charge fair from Zetter. 
Oh, didn't have another wall jump. Getting too fancy with the sweat spirits. Yeah, okay, trying to just throw him down here. I, I like the idea of putting that pressure on, but it's, it's such a big commitment, like, time-wise. Yeah. Oh, just rolling the center. Okay. Yeah, I like the, the mix-ups with the neutral vein. Look at Dan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dan was doing a job. Uh, well, while the platforms are separated, you have access to just, like, I'm going to sit on the edge of this platform. Look at... No. You just burned it all. I mean, you got to try. Man. Yeah. Let's hope that he gets greedy, because you're going to have the same amount of disease anyway. And this, the parries on these side have been so good, but Giga just goes for it again, and if he got the wrong, the right hit that up to, it could have been stock. Yeah. Oh, good F strong, but trying a little bit too hard to, to get some kind of edge guard going. Got the edge cancel though, so he's out mostly scot free. Wow, the turnaround with some of these pot drop arrows oh. into the what was I would guess initially going to be a tech chase, but instead it's just a raw reaction. Dan gets an up strong. It's not gonna. It wasn't, didn't close out the stock, and now Giga has a chance to land one fair too. Can he get the third? Dance is doing an insanely good job of, like, catching the recoveries from Giga and just... Because, like, you know, you gotta go high with the the charge up beam, but Dance is just right there waiting. That's where it comes out as he gets just to the lip as Jab... Uh, using the Jab check to get by. That's a really tough trade, Giga, but immediately coming back with the Super Monkey Ball. We're in a last stock <laughs> situation right now. Yeah, the sky turns dark as we get to see what Giga has in store. Finds the first starter for 39, but Danny immediately answers back with a string of his own into the parry. Oh boy. Back here looking for dash attack after and surrendered all of that advantage though. Yeah, okay, Giga, just try not to commit too hard. There's been a few dicey moments of that so far. Dan's off stage. The down tilt could put in work here. As attack does so, gets the upbeat, and there it is. And it kills just barely. That must have been a really tough guy. If that wasn't a purple, like, jeez. Yeah, Dan, what did you want from him there? Because Char's up, he just set uh, in a set where we didn't see many of those kill. In game five, he took two with a. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah, Lord. like, I guess maybe there was some missing S. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, that was a really good set. Yes, yeah, And super I flames. think that's possibly. Our last one. I think that's the last one of is. Wave A. Uh, and what a way to end it off. Just Dan finding say, yeah. so much counterplay to just these down tilts and low hitting forward airs. But as that was changed up, um, the counterplay the counterplay to the recoveries from Giga, where it's like, okay, if you're going to tech these mm. and try and hit me in a reversal, then I'll turn that to my advantage and pop you straight up for a kill. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was smart. Okay, apparently I lied. It's not our last yeah. set. My, my hunch more. was wrong. <laughs> one more. Just Possibly. Uno más.